in statistics, we are often interested in knowing the moments of the distribution. Just as a brief reminder, uh, mean variance, skew and kurtosis are first, second, third and fourth moment of the distribution. Mean measures central location, variance measures dispersion, skew um, asymmetry, and kurtosis measures pickiness. Okay, so we have here two popular uh, distribution functions. One is a, a continuous, one is a discrete var um, random variable. Uh, then um, um, obviously you probably recognize the shape, this is a standard normal with this probability the density function. Here we've got Poisson distribution with this uh, probability mass function. Um, and obviously at the very uh, bottom of this table we are given uh, me, uh, mean variance skew and kurtosis which, which are the four moments. Yeah, But that's all fun and dandy. However, wouldn't it'd be nice if we could actually um, calculate these parameters ourselves um, and, and the, uh, there are four four main ways in which uh, through which we can achieve this one is uh, um, we can use the definition of the moment we can um, use probability generating function we can uh, use moment generating function finally we can use um, a characteristic equation uh, in this video, we will purely concentrate on uh, the first, um, the first um, point, which is how we calculate moments using the definition of the moment itself. So, uh, moment um, of a random variable is just the expected, expected value of a power of that random variable. Okay, so that's actually very simple, a very simple definition, but uh, it raises another question, namely, how do we uh, calculate expectations? Uh, well, um, it turns out it's not that complicated. For a discrete variable, we calculate um, expectation by taking um, the values that the random variable can take, raise it to the power of the moment. So if, if, the, if we're looking for the first moment, then this here will be 1 if we are looking for the second moment then k would be 2 and we just have to times it by the uh, probability mass function okay this is for discrete uh, random variable for continuous uh, random variable all we have to do is just take this integral of this um, uh, random variable raised to the power of the moment times its PDF uh, where PDF stands for probability density function and uh, the other thing, before we can actually go and calculate moments, we also have to uh, ask ourselves what moment we are de dealing with. Um, we distinguish two moments. Um, raw moment, which is a moment about origin, and you can uh, find the definition of it here. It's just expectation of that uh, random variable raised to the power of the moment. So, for instance, uh, if I ask you, and you also can recognize this uh, raw moment by, maybe it's not a, as visible here, but if I uh, um, magnify it slightly, you can see, I need to zoom in, that there is uh, a dash at the top. So, uh, there should be a dash here. So, whenever you, you can see a dash, you know you're dealing with, a, with the, with the uh, raw moment. So. Um, let's apply the, this definition straight away and let's calculate the first moment about origin. Yeah? So to calculate the first moment about origin all you have to do is just take write mu1 equals and now uh, obviously expectation of that random variable raised to the power 1 because we're looking for the first moment you see we're just applying we're replacing k with 1 uh, both for mu and for expectation, then this equals uh, e x fantastic. Okay, that was very simple. Uh, how about central moment? Okay, now the only difference between uh, central moment and raw moment is that 
here you don't take anything uh, away from uh, x, yeah. Whereas here you subtract um, uh, mu, which is the mean. Okay, so let's apply it one more time. Let's calculate the first uh, central moment. Uh, we have to write mu one. I missed a dash here. Uh, equals um, expectation of this random variable x minus uh, mu and all this raised to the power one because we are looking for the first moment. Now uh, after this all you have to do is just uh, obviously solve this equation. So uh, we take expectation first with respect to uh, of this random variable x then minus uh, expectation of um, the mean. The problem is that mean itself is defined as an expectation of a random variable, right? So uh, we end up with something kind of strange because we've got expectation of x minus expectation of an expectation uh, and this actually reduces to expectation of x uh, and the whole uh, the result uh, yields zero. So um, just to reiterate uh, that the, there are differences between raw moments and central moments, and you can, as we can see, as we saw here, first moment is just e x e of x expectation of x, whereas the uh, um, first central moment is uh, zero. Now, let's proceed swiftly to. Um, an application of what we just learned about raw and central moments. Uh, we have a definition here of mean. Mean is just the expectation of a random variable. Variance is uh, expectation of x minus mu uh, raised to the power two. And here we've got we've got two f uh, first moments, central and raw moments. Now, if I ask you to match uh, the definition of the uh, parameters mu and variance with the with the, uh, in with the table here, you would see that actually mean happens to be the first raw moment. However, variance is uh, the first sorry the second uh, central moment. Okay, so while we just showed that while uh, mean is the first raw moment, variance is the second central moment. In the next video, we will be uh, applying what we just learned and deriving means and moments uh, of uh, continuous and uh, discrete uh, distributions. Thank you.